Hi, my name is Dr. Selena Friesen, and I'm an optometrist. And I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, and I'm an optometrist. We have two clinics in Winnipeg, Waverly Eye Care and Eyes on Bridgewater. And we have a daughter in optometry school. Today we're excited to share information about the career of optometry. From years of experience of doing career symposiums, I've anticipated some of your questions today. So first, what is the difference between an optometrist and an ophthalmologist? Both complete a Bachelor of Science degree and complete a challenging entrance exam, the MCAT or the O. Then the ophthalmologist completes medical school and usually about a, at least a five-year residency program. An optometrist goes straight into the four-year program of learning about the eye and the visual system. So in the end, the optometrists are your primary eye care providers and your ophthalmologist will be your eye surgeon. Second, what courses do I need to take in high school? You absolutely need to take your grade 11 and 12 chemistry and physics. In Manitoba, you need to take your grade 12 biology as well. And when you take all those three, our kids call it tri-sci. Lastly, you need to take the hardest calculus and math courses that your high school offers. Third, after high school, you can do your science degree anywhere, but the two big things you need to remember for optometry, unlike medicine, dentistry, and pharmacy, optometry is not offered in Manitoba. So the English school is in Waterloo, Ontario. The second thing, which is probably more important, unlike the other professional programs, you absolutely need to do a full course load. Fourth is money. How much does an optometrist earn? In Manitoba, which is similar to other provinces across Canada, an employed optometrist might make 80,000 to 110,000 depending on how much they want to work, and a self-employed optometrist may make 150,000 to 200,000 dollars per year. Fifth, Moving on to paying for the education. Waterloo is the only English school, as I said before, so you need to move there. And my daughter, as we said, is there now, and she pays about $6,000 a year for a three-floor townhouse, two-bed, two-bath, and then her tuition's $18,000. You could also go to the U.S. They have many schools down there. Uh, tuition's about $200,000 for the four years, which works out right now with the Canadian dollar about 265000 And so lastly, how does an optometrist spend their day? Like we said before, optometrists are the primary eye care provider. So this means if you have a problem with your vision or your eyesight or an eye infection or anything that might be some type of eye disease, you should probably first see your optometrist. So on any given day, we see a little bit of everything and a little bit of anything. So one thing we'll do is check your vision and your eyesight to make sure you can see as well as you possibly can. And this usually means fitting you with glasses or contact lenses or any other device that might help you see better. We will also look for anything related to the health of your eyes. So we can diagnose things like infections, injury, dry eye, glaucoma, cataracts, macular degeneration, lazy eye, retinal detachments, and after diagnosing it, we can treat many of these conditions. Basically, unless it involves surgery, your optometrist can probably treat these conditions. There are also some areas of special interest that some optometrists will choose to focus on. So this can include things like low vision, which is helping people with vision impairments, sports vision training to help athletes use their vision more efficiently and more accurately, vision therapy to help people improve their reading and perceptual skills. We can also help people with traumatic brain injury that's affecting their vision, so people that suffer from concussions or strokes. But basically you're going to spend all day long meeting and helping all sorts of people to have healthy eyes and clear vision for the rest of their lives. So if there's any questions uh, we did not answer today, please comment below. We are happy to answer them. If you like videos like this about your eyes and vision, make sure you hit the subscribe button and have a great optometry day.